and first look at the Corsair H90. It's part of their Hydro series. It comes with a five-year warranty. It comes with a silver box, which is something that we're not used to seeing with Corsair's liquid coolers. In fact, this was quite surprising to me. It seems like a stupid thing to fixate on, but hey, when you unbox things for a living, then you have to find things that are interesting about boxes. So Corsair's packaging generally has been black packaging, but we're not gonna worry about that too much. Let's focus on what's interesting about the H90. Number one is stop, do not return this product to the store. Contact Corsair, give them a chance to help you out. That's very important because their customer service is pretty much legendary at this point. Oh, what's this? That is a 140 millimeter fan. So unlike the previous generation, H40, H50, H55, H60, H70, and H80, the H90 uses a, ni uh, 90, a 90 millimeter fan for extreme performance, a 140 millimeter fan. Now it uses a different design than Corsair's recently released H100i and H80i. It has thinner blades, but the largeness of it should make up for any kind of performance deficiencies from not using their SP pressure optimized fan design but I mean we'll see once we uh, once we get this thing installed and test it out also inside we find aha the H90 cooler itself so in terms of case compatibility you do have to be a little bit more careful with a 140 millimeter radiator than you do with a 120 mil because even though a case is compatible with a 120 mil at the back it won't necessarily work with a 140 at the back. However, Corsair gives you enough length on the quarter inch, uh, non-evaporative, very flexible tubing that you should be able to even do things like mount it in the top of the case and then run it back over towards your CPU socket, for example. That will give you more options in terms of installation than you'd have with uh, a limitation of just installing it at the back. Although it might not make for the same aesthetic. So I would, op I would definitely opt for a case with a 140 mil fan at the back and enough room for the tank at the top and the tank at the bottom in terms of clearance. Uh, we find, unlike the recently released H80i and H100i, the H90 does not feature Corsair Link and it doesn't have lighting effects on the CPU block itself, so it's more of a simple cooler. It also goes with, as I mentioned before, one quarter inch tubing versus the 3 8 inch tubing on those other coolers, but the additional surface area should give it some pretty interesting performance, which we're very excited to, uh, to check out. The bottom of the CPU block is looks like something pretty familiar, so we've got that ring locking mechanism for mounting the block itself, which allows you to take, here we go, one of these rings, whether it's FM1, FM2, AM2, AM3, AM2+, plus, whatever you want, any AMD socket from the last sort of couple generations, any Intel socket, 775, 1155, 1366, 2011, and put the compatible hold down plate on top, secured into place, then use this retention ring, which is so much better than the older systems that use the retention ring, to lock the whole thing into place so you don't have to kind of have four different hands working on it in order to actually get one of these coolers installed. It's quite simple now and comes with all the hardware you need as well as detailed instructions, there they are, from Corsair that include little pictures and all kinds of good stuff just like that for all of the different platforms. So in summary, the H90, no Corsair link, but massive surface area, which should make it somewhere between a single 120 millimeter thin radiator cooler and something between sort of that and a dual 120 millimeter cooler, probably somewhere in the middle. Thanks for checking out this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.